Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions, and we were called into a job site in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania, which is in Delaware County in southeastern Pennsylvania, um, for Yellow Jackets going into the area outside of the garage, right on the ground, and um, the homeowners were finding dead and live Yellow Jackets inside the garage, and they suspected they were inside of the wall. So as I'm suiting up here, where I'm looking right there, there's a hole and I'm kind of pointing at it. That's where the yellow jackets were coming in and out from, uh, from that hole there. So the first thing I do is I'm going to inject into that opening. And then we're going to take a look at the inside wall. Now it's tough to see because of the shadow, but I could see some drywall debris right along the floor there. Uh, which is indicative that they were behind there. And then that wall there itself, as I'm touching it, is super soft. And there's a little hole right here. So I'm going to eject into that hole as well, because I believe the nest to be right, right there, about six, eight inches off the ground. So they were coming in from the outside hole, going underneath the framing, and then made their nest behind the wall. So I have my drywall saw here. I'm just kind of probing the weak spots just to see what, what section I'm going to take out. And typically I only take out the area that's, that's soft or um, really flimsy. And you'll be able to tell because my drywall saw will just kind of plunge right in there without any effort. So we're just going to open a small little area up so we can see what's going on back there. And as soon as I, I saw a glimpse into the wall void, I could see the nest. So I knew we were right where we needed to be. So I'm just going to make the opening just a little bit bigger. Again, we're just removing the, the damaged part of the drywall. And we're just going to make the corners nice. So this is a nice little rectangle. And there's the paper backing of the nest, which I removed. And there's the all the brood cells and the comb of the, of the nest itself. So let's take a closer look. Pretty neat. These were yellow jackets there. You can see our treatment was effective. And then there's the comb all stacked up in the nest. So once we have it all treated and the, and the noise of the nest has died down, which means that the bulk of the, of the colony is dead, then I can start removing the comb itself. And it's important when you, when you, when we open this up that we search high and low left and right for any other pieces of, of nest, because we don't want anything left into the, into that wall void. So we got to be pretty thorough and just kind of keep swiping our hands up and down just to make sure we have everything out of there. And then we'll get all the paper backing of the nest and all the dead yellow jackets. We'll get everything out of there. That way, whoever has to come in to repair this is just going to have to do the drywall and that's it. No cleanup required. Now, because this was an unconditioned space of the garage, there was no insulation in the, in the wall cavity itself. There was just kind of some foam board, which you could see a little piece that we brought out that they were chewing at too, but there's no like fiberglass or, or loose fill uh, insulation in there at all, which is not atypical of a, of a wall within an unconditioned space like a garage.
So we're just going to make sure we have everything out of there. And then once we remove all the nests, I usually hit the area again with the PTPI, which is a fast acting aerosol. And that'll kill off any, any stragglers that are left in there. So once the nest is completely removed and we have everything treated with the aerosol, I come in with a long-term residual dust. And this will really take care longer term any, uh, any yellow jackets that try to make it in there. And I'm just kind of dusting through all the voids there and, and we'll make sure we have all that cleaned up too. But this will ensure no yellow jackets will, will use that void again. And now we're going to tape up that opening and once everything's taped up and cleaned up, then we can, uh, or taped up, we can then get everything cleaned up. And the tape, all that does is just prevent any stragglers that make it into that wall void from making it into the garage again. Because we definitely want to ensure none of these yellow jackets were in the garage. So I'm going to remove the comb part of the nest from our little debris pile there. And I'm just going to spread it out so we can see how big it is. And then I'll send a picture over to the uh, to the homeowners and the tenants just so everybody can just get an idea of how what was going on in that wall there. That's pretty extensive. All that white there is all the brood cells. There would have been new yellow jackets being formed in the next week or so. So once we got our cool little memento pictures for our clients, we're going to get everything cleaned up. So I, I usually get the, the bulk of it with my hands here. We'll just throw it right into a trash bag. You can see that I have some other debris already in there that was we just came from a hornet removal uh, that was actually up on a roof. So I have that I have that nest in there. And I'm just going to kind of sweep this with my hands, get all the big stuff out of there, and then I come through with my vacuum and I really make sure everything's cleaned up. And we can see it's all taped off there. There's no yellow jackets can get through. So when we leave here, there's going to be no yellow jackets in the garage, everything taped up, everything treated, and then everything cleaned up. So like I said, the only thing the homeowner has to do then is get a drywall specialist to come in, repair that hole if they so choose, and they're done. So I'm going to go get the vacuum and get that cleaned up. Another job well done. So again, this was a yellow jacket nest in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania, in Delaware County, southeastern Pennsylvania. And we are the yellow jacket, hornet, bee, and wasp experts. So if you have a yellow jacket or a hornet issue, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call or text us at 484-401-4361. Or visit us online at prudentialpest.com.